Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm obviously here for another unboxing. This is the January Beacon Book Box. It came a little late this month. I feel like all of my boxes came late this month. It was a bizarre month. It's okay. You guys know the drill by now. All of the information, if you guys would like to subscribe, my rep code to get you guys a discount. All of that will be down in the description for you. I also wanted to let you guys know that they are doing another special edition box. If you guys haven't seen their special edition boxes, even if you're not a big fan of their monthly boxes, their special edition boxes are like, like superb. Like they are some of the best that I've ever received. Um, they are putting together a bookstagram box. It's an entire box designed around um, being a bookstagrammer. So if you guys are, are a bookstagrammer or if you're looking to get into it, it's going to be full of like props and themed things to um, basically like help you out on your Instagram account or help start an account. Um, and they're selling out really quickly. And my rep code does work on that if you guys would like to try it out get on it. It'll be on the website. I will leave everything linked down below for you guys if you'd like to check it on out. But that is a thing that I think is brilliant and I'm very excited to see what they do with it. So that's coming soon. I believe they ship at the end of February. So you'll be getting it in March. So let's get into this month's box though. This is Chaos in the Court, which is looking mighty bloody. There are some blood spatters on the spoiler card. So, ooh, look at the bubble wrap. That'll be fun for later, or it'll be fun for Cricket. One or the other. So we're gonna put that. Can you guys see that? Glary, glary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Now you can see it. Alrighty. Let's see. Bubble wrap. I should not throw that. There's a kitten in this room. That's a bad idea. We're gonna stuff it into the cart right there and act like you guys can't see all of the books stacked on my TBR cart. It's fine. There's a beanie. Uh, let them fear her. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Is that um, technically Wicked Saints? I believe that's a Wicked Saints thing, right? That's like what is on the spine, isn't it? It is indeed, and it is designed by Little Berries, which they work with pretty frequently. That is one of their main designers. So we've got a beanie that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it on. I have my hair up today. I'm gonna leave it as is. I will take it out of the plastic though, so you guys can at least like See it without reflection. So we've got, oh, it's like nicely embroidered too. So we've got a lovely reflecty blue beanie. Next we have what feels like a wallet and this is two whatever and oh, it's a throne of glass one. Um, okay, how do I get this out? Hold the phone. Ooh, I like the zipper of this. This is fun. So this is the same on both sides and says to whatever end, obviously Aelin and Rowan ship them for life. Ooh, it has a little, oh, it's like a wristlet. Fingers function. Okay, so you can attach it and make it a little wristlet, which is super fun. Ooh, and it, okay, well, it has a foam insert in there, but I like, there's like a floral pattern on the inner part and then it's like tan and it's got card slots and whatnot. I might actually use this. Um, still throw in a glass trash. That's what I am here. We need to like back this on up so I can stand it up. Does that work? Can you see it? Oh, it's in the shadows now. It's fine. You guys know what it is. We have another thing in a box. I've liked everything that has come in a box like this in the past. It's another ornament. Oh my God, there's so many. Ooh, it's so pretty. Failure does not define you. I'm trying to leave it, oh God, in the thing so you guys can see it, but this is just clear glass and it is etched on there which is lovely and the edges are all beveled and it's all fancy like. Is this gonna be like an ongoing thing? Cause I'm pretty sure this is like the third or glass ornament that I've received, which I'm kind of digging. I'm gonna leave this protected in here. Cause like I said, there is a kitten roaming around in the midst and I don't trust her with breakable things yet. Next we have, ooh, Curse Breakers Lotion. This is a full bottle of lotion. This is lavender vanilla. Let me take a little snifferoo. Smells like lavender and vanilla. <laughs> I don't know why that's like shocking to me. So we've got some lotion, which is much appreciated because my dog just ate my last bottle of lotion. We're not gonna talk about it. It was, it's fine. Um, ooh, this is nice. This is really nice. One, this packaging is fantastic, um, but it looks like we have like a metal, like a goldish metal bookmark that is like well presented. I like this. She just stole plastic wrap. I'll be right back. Hold on. Nope, she stole the little insert that was in the wallet. That's going higher up out of reach. Okay, anyway, we're back to the box. 
we've got this, the bookmark that I was talking about that is lovely presentation. But anyway, it says words can lie, see beyond them, which is from Red Queen. Not a huge fan of Red Queen. I'm gonna be honest. I read that first one and I was like, mm, this isn't for me. But I love this though. Like this is so nice. I love metal bookmarks. I'm a big fan of any sort of like abstract item to use as a bookmark. So the metal and the wood ones are my favorite. This is nice. She's already stealing plastic again. Stop. Oh my God. Is this what it's like having children? Good Lord. Anyway, bookmark. That's what we got. We've got a lovely shiny bookmark that is gonna blind you guys. There we go. Okay. And we are down to, ooh, I don't even know what this book is. Nameless Queen, Crowned by Chance, Rebel by Choice by Rebecca McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Uh, look at this. This is in plastic. Let me take it out real quick. Ooh, it's shiny. Uh, I haven't heard of this at all. What is this? I love this cover though. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. What? What is this? Oh my god! It's signed and personalized to me, you guys! Oh my god. Beacon fam, I love you. Look, it says to Chelsea, be bold, be brave, be you. There's... Get out of... Stop it! That's not for you. Anyway, be bold, be brave, be you. And it is signed and has a little crown. This is so nice. What is this even about? I wake up the same way I fell asleep. Knife in hand, boots for a pillow, and nameless. Ooh, it says everyone expected Esther to inherit the throne. She's the king, fellow's daughter, or at least another royal or legal advisor. No one expected me. Ooh, so she's a nameless, I mean, it, that's the name, nameless queen. That makes sense now. Um, it shouldn't even be possible I'm nameless. A class of citizens so disrespected we don't even get names. Heck, dozens of us have even gone missing for months and no one seems to care. But there's no denying the tattoo emblazoned on my arm, I am to be queen. Ooh, that sounds good. I'm excited about this. Look at this cover. Also, I'm pretty sure it's red. That's exciting. Yeah, it's a red cover. Oh, okay, I'm excited about this. That's fun. So that will slide the lotion on over. Ooh, and there's goodies in the bottom. What is this? We have a, a YA Thumbelina retelling set in 1930 vaudeville, but this cover I don't know if you guys are gonna, hold on, let me zoom in so you guys can see the cover because I'm digging it. Look at that cover. How pretty is that? And that's like what the bookmark is. But I am so intrigued by that when stars are bright. Oh, that's so cute. And then it looks like we have a map and, oh, this is the Bacon with Beacons, Kestrel Savory Snack Mix. And Kestrel is from the Winner's Curse, Winner's Crime, Winner's Kiss, that series um, by Marie Rakowski which I read last year with my book club. And this is for, ooh, I like, oh, this is like a party mix type of mixture thing. So this is the first one that's not like cookies or pastries. It's a savory snack, which is lovely. So they include this in every month. You can do a little recipe with them. So that is everything that came in the January Beacon book box. I'm excited about that book. And then it was signed and personalized to me. That's so fun. Um, but this is a pretty stellar box. As always, if you guys would like to check them out, all of the info will be down in the description for you guys. Thank you so much to the Beacon fam for this experience and for the personalized book. Like, seriously, thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next one.